The Common Sense Group of Conservative MPs has urged the government to automatically reject asylum claims from those who have traveled through safe countries and to speed up deportations, it has emerged. In a letter to 10 Downing Street seen by the foxhole, 32 MPs and five peers called on Boris Johnson not to water down the immigration reforms to soon be introduced, and to take particular care to ensure Britain's asylum process which they described as unfit for purpose is changed root and branch. Many migrants travel to the United Kingdom through a multitude of safe, prosperous nations in which they could claim asylum, the letter read. One in six of those allegedly seeking a safe haven in the UK, 2019, were matched to an existing asylum claim in another European country. Last year, of the 8,500 individuals entering our country illegally on small boats, 74% were aged between 18 to 39 and 87% were male. It is a great injustice that those migrants who are healthy and wealthy enough to cross the channel in pursuit of economic advantage facilitated by heartless people traffickers receive priority, stretching the limited capacity of our asylum capability and inhibiting support for those in genuine need including those who, because of their faith, are hounded and hunted overseas. The Conservative group of MPs questioned whether the eye-watering £1 billion spiralling costs of our broken system could be better utilised in the elevation and empowerment of our poorest neighbourhoods here at home. Vexatious claims have created a highly lucrative industry for a small clique of unscrupulous, financially motivated lawyers, who prioritise financial gain over the interests of those they purport to represent, the letter claimed. The group called on a strict time limit on asylum application processes, during which the Home Office should supervise applicants, the automatic rejection of claims by those who have traveled through a safe country in a proactive program for expeditated deportations which have fallen to a historic low. Home Secretary Priti Patel is expected to introduce reform proposals via the Sovereign Borders Bill next month.